Hi, and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one, I'll cover two types of materials that is uh, used in Magical Voxel. So let's go ahead and get started. To access this screen right here, you would have to go from your model mode to your render mode. And to see what materials there are, you go to the matter section, which is on the right side, and select this cube icon. And here you can see a list of all the materials you can use in Magical Voxel. So by default, all the palette swatches on the left over here is set to the fuse. So for instance, if I just randomly click on this, you can see all the swatches are set to the fuse. You can think of the fuse as kind of like a base material that doesn't really have anything going for it. For instance, metal is obviously metallic and can show reflectiveness. Glass is transparent and see-through. Emit is, uh, it gives off light. The fuse kind of really doesn't do anything other than give off like simple reflections like this. And um, I kind of use these, this diffuse material for like things like grass, um, things on the like, bark, trees, leaves and stuff like that. Something that doesn't really need a material. For instance, if we were to make a building, we might want to use metal and glass rather than the fuse. Now the metallic shader will be a lot more interesting. So go ahead and select the color we want to be given a material and just click on one of the materials. In this case, I'm going to click on metal. And you can kind of see nothing really happening. That's because we haven't played with any of these settings yet. I'll touch on roughness and IOR in a little bit. But first, let's just crank metallic all the way to its highest setting, or close to its highest setting. And you can see a couple of things changing. For one, you can see that the uh, the cube has, it looks like it has a new different color. But actually, if I was to rotate the camera, you can see it's giving off this reflective look. And it actually looks like a block of metal. Um, it looks a little bit better if I put an object next to it. So I'm just going to duplicate this object. Give it a different color. Maybe make it smaller. Now if we go to render, you can see that the white cube is being reflected off this black cube. Not black cube, sorry, blue cube. And that's because we have given this blue cube the metallic shader. Now let's say you wanted the blue cube to reflect more of this white cube. You can do one of two things. You can turn the roughness down to zero and make sure the metallic is set to a high enough setting that you can see the white cube being almost one to one with the blue cube. Or you could turn IOR to max and now you can see uh, IOR turned to max. It looks less and metallic turn to zero, it looks less of a, it actually almost looks like glass and less of a metal while still being reflective. So I think IOR is the reflectiveness, whereas metallic more is just it being like a metal cube in this case, because it's a cube. So these two settings kind of correlate with one another if you want to make something reflective. And obviously, roughness is just how rough you want the metal to look like. It doesn't actually change the texture of the metal. It kind of just changes how the light works on it. So if I turn roughness up, now the cube is not even visible. It's just a white glob. And if I turn all the way to max, you can't even see the cube at all. And if you want something like this looks like a metal block. So if you want something like that, you just turn roughness up and um, turn metallic up. And you don't really need IOR. You try to turn that down. Specular, I'm not entirely sure what it does. I want to say it absorbs light and kind of changes the color of it. You can see like when I turn this up, almost up to max, this is kind of making this... Uh, color change and it's turning more of a turquoise kind of color versus if I have it off. You can see it kind of retains more of that actual 
uh, palette color blue, but with this specular added, this white kind of changes how this looks. So that's pretty much uh, the diffuse and metal shaders in Magical Voxel. In the next video, I'll cover emission and glass. So stay tuned for that. I hope this tutorial has helped, and I'll catch you all in the next one.